When I think of indigenous art, I have to admit, there's a certain kind of look and feel that comes to my mind. The totem poles at Stanley Park, form line sculptures by Bill Reed and Susan Point at the YVR airport. I think those are all great examples, but they're also really just scratching the surface of what indigenous artists are creating. And so if you dig just a little deeper into the nooks and crannies of Vancouver, I think you can find some true hidden gems of public art created by indigenous artists who are expressing their cultures in less conventional and really interesting ways. Our first piece can be found on the doors of St. Paul's Church in East Vancouver. Painted by local artist Suna Gale, it joins Catholic and Indigenous Northwest Coast symbols. So yeah, there is a form of reconciliation to have the, the Catholic religion, which like decimated the culture of the First Nations people, but still, in reality, today it's, it's in the culture of well, not everyone, but a lot have chosen. And so this piece is kind of about just like accepting that and The next time you're at the Army and Navy on East Hastings Street, try walking through the rear doors to the alleyway behind it. You'll find a mural by two indigenous artists. There's so much healing that's taking place, and um, that is just honoring healing, and then also reminding the downtown Eastside community that they're not forgotten, they're not lost, and that when they feel alone and afraid, they can go there and remember and come through the culture. I have these songs behind me and language and food, and I have a whole culture and ancestors who protect me all the time, regardless of living on the street. Our next and final piece is located inside the Vancouver Central Library. You actually might miss it, unless you look up. There you'll find portraits of indigenous people from the Vancouver area, hung on the upper walls of the atrium. Well, I was thinking about 150 plus, and the first kind of thing that came to me was First Peoples' ownership of the land and the, the theme of time immemorial. When I saw the spaces in the library, I, I immediately thought that figures or figure drawings would, would fit in that space because there's so many different cultures in such a small area of land in, in British Columbia and Vancouver. Um, I wanted to do my best to, to think of those spaces as individual borders for the different Aboriginal peoples in the area. I think it's really important, like, for Indigenous artists to still be valid just because of, of who they are and to be able to express a much more wider range of being Indigenous today. So those are just some of the examples that we found, but we'd like to hear from you. Do you know of other artists that are finding new ways to express Indigenous themes in their art? Please let us know in the comments section.